What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm here at BassBoatElectronics.com and Ultramarine, um, their shop here. Uh, my buddy Jason with BassBoatElectronics.com is going to be working on some electronics up here. He's going to be doing a little bit of tweaking and really get me ready for the rest of the season. Uh, on the electronics, we're also going to be swapping out the troll motor, going from the Motor Guide Tour to the new Tour Pro, which I'm really excited about. But what this video is all about is the Mercury engine. So while Jason's working his magic up front, I'm going to actually be doing a little bit of maintenance on my Mercury V8. Um, I, you know, I've, for years I've been working on my own engines, doing the oil changes, the lower unit fluid and things like that. And I think it's a really good way to make sure that you've got quality control and Mercury makes it really easy to do both. So since we've got a nice workshop area in here, uh, and we've also got all the parts that we need here at Ultramarine, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now while Jason's up front. So let's get started. I think we're gonna split this into two separate videos, one for the engine oil and one for the gear case, um, but let's get started. All right guys, so we're about to bring the boat into the shop here, my buddy Jason right there gonna get this wonderful boat out of the way and we're gonna bring the the boat in here and then I'll start to, to get to work on it but let's talk about the tools and uh, the uh, the materials that we need for this oil change um, the first thing we're gonna need is of course a big drain pan uh, this is a, a really big drain pan that I use actually for for my uh, my uh, diesel engine on my truck um, but then we're also gonna need of course the the materials that we're gonna be replacing the oil filter the uh, engine oil, which I'm using 10W30 synthetic blind mercury four stroke oil. And this is just a overall good choice for a variety of different temperature ranges. Of course, refer to your manual for uh, specific uh, oil recommendations for the type of, of engine you have and the conditions you're, you're gonna be running it in. Then of course, we've got tools like a, uh, a filter wrench, oil filter wrench. Um, which may be a little bit different ultimately depending on how much space we have to work with and then we've got a 5 8 inch wrench for the uh, for the um, oil drain plug and then we've got this plastic tubing it's just going to make it a whole lot easier Merc mercury does a really good job offering you know a, a, an easy way to drain the fluid out of both the, the oil filter and the the oil reservoir um, and using this tube the tube that they recommend is supposed to be 7 16 inch uh, inner diameter tube. This is a little bit smaller, but we're going to be able to make it work through a little bit of summer heat uh, and a little bit of elbow grease getting that thing in there. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the owner's manual that we're going to refer to just to make sure we're doing everything correctly. And uh, since we're doing the oil change in this video, we also have the uh, the lower unit fluid that we're changing in a different video. Um, so go ahead and, and check out that video too if you're gonna be doing a, a gear case change. But overall, let's get started. About to bring that boat in and get her drained out. All right guys, so we've already got the initial steps done. These are really, really easy. I'm just gonna go through them real quick. The first thing that we did is of course, take off the, the engine cowling. Um, I also ended up lifting the Atlas jack plate just to make sure that I had enough space to put the drip pan. So I've got that lifted up all the way. And then once I got the cowling off, I ended up putting the engine vertical so everything can drain correctly and get all that oil out. And then uh, from there, I ended up taking that, that clear hose right there, putting that on the, the oil drain plug there, and took that 5 8 inch wrench and just loosened it just a little bit, okay? You don't wanna, you don't wanna turn it too much. As soon as you loosen it, it's really easy to hand turn. And the biggest key to this drain plug is not over tightening it or over loosening it either. Um, it calls for no more than two and a half turns because you can actually compromise the seal uh, doing either or of those. Um, so uh, just, just loosen it a little bit with the wrench and then from there just loosen it up maybe two turns is what I did and uh, just let it all drain out. 
pretty much got all the oil drained out. And so it is just about ready to, to um, get to the, the oil filter, change that out. It's gonna be a very, very easy process. And the only other thing that I did to drain the oil is I actually removed the oil fill plug on the top. We're gonna to get to the oil filter here, which is right here. And it's really cool because you also have an oil drain plug here that'll, that'll allow you to do this without any mess. So I love how Mercury's uh, designed this engine to not only have high performance, but be really, really easy to maintain. So um, we're gonna be getting to the oil filter next. All right, so now we've taken off the uh, clear plastic tubing on the plug here. What we're gonna do is, is uh, I'm just gonna leave that open for now, but we're gonna have to close that obviously um, when we're done. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and change the um, oil filter here. We're gonna remove this plug and then put the, uh, the, the clear plastic tubing there. So it'll make things really hassle-free and clean. So this one's gonna be a little bit dirtier just because I don't have the, the, the longer hose. So I would have two different hoses, one that's, that's just short enough for the, uh, the oil drain plug, and then one that's a little bit longer, actually quite a bit longer, maybe a foot and a half longer for the oil, oil filter. Um, there's not gonna be a ton of oil that comes out of there, but just enough to, to make things a little bit messier. So we'll get a little bit messy in this one, but with the proper tools, you can actually do it with absolutely no mess at all. Um, so we're looking good. What we're gonna do now is loosen up the oil filter with the oil filter wrench. So this style oil filter wrench actually works really, really well. I couldn't remember which one I, I, I liked using on this. This type uh, works very, very well. There's plenty of space. So we're just gonna go ahead and loosen that up very carefully. You don't wanna damage this apparatus at all. So just loosen that up. Make sure you're loosening it and not tightening it. Tightening it. But right there, as soon as that kind of loosens up, you can hand loosen it that'll start draining. Okay, almost there. That was easy. Really n no drainage at all going through there, but there's the filter. Um, just make sure that that you get the uh, old seal off of there. It may stick a little bit, and also make sure that the the housing for the seal around the seal is is clear, and you don't have any like residue or or seal material left on there. Um, so just just check that. And we're going to be adding some fresh oil to the new seal um, to make sure it has a perfect uh, connection there. Right there, there's the old one. We'll dispose of that and put on the new one. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and remove this. We don't need this anymore. All right. Okay. We're gonna clean around the base of the seal. Make sure you don't get any any cloth material or anything in that seal cavity. Right there, everything looks good in there. Perfect. Let's replace that filter. All right, so in here, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have, of course, the new seal and the new filter. We're gonna want to go ahead and lubricate this seal. Um, that's one thing I like to do. It's always a good idea when you're replacing an oil or fuel filter is lubing it up with a little bit of oil. We're just gonna be using the 10W30 here. Just a little bit on your fingertips just to get it nice and lubed up. Don't put that on the ground. You don't wanna get any dirt. 
All right, so we're gonna just dip our finger in there and we're gonna just lube that up with some oil. Easy peasy, just a really good thing to do with oil filter seals. Okay, just insert that, make sure it is inserted correctly. So it looks like it will just put a little bit more oil on the top there. We're good to go. Let's replace that oil filter. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and, and uh, thread this back on. It's really important to make sure that you don't over tighten or under tighten a oil filter, um, but it's probably more uh, detrimental to, to over tighten a, a filter. So the manual calls for uh, once you, you hand tighten it to where the, the seal is seated for another three quarter or a, a full turn. Um, so we're gonna do that right about there. So we're just gonna easily just thread that on there. Okay. Shouldn't have any resistance or anything like that. So now it is, it, the, the seal has seated. So now we're gonna just do it another three quarter or one turn with the, the filter wrench. That right there should do it just perfect perfect well that's it for the oil filter really really simple no mess on the engine at all all right so before i'm going to add the oil i'm just going to go ahead and, and finish tightening this with uh with my wrench um you're just going to add a little bit of pressure you've already hand tightened it and you're just going to add a little bit more pressure but not much again you don't want to compromise that seal it does a really good job of, of closing up as soon as it just becomes tight so that's done now we just fill it. You know, one tool that I didn't mention that is also very, very helpful is a little funnel. It's always helpful to have a funnel. In fact, that's probably not big enough. It'll take forever. Let's do this big old thing. Okay. The dipstick on these, these engines are actually pretty interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that, put that back in. Almost, it's almost so long that you think that it's checking the lower unit fluid. Put that in there. Okay. All right, so this calls for 6.6 .6 liters. There's 3.78 liters in each of these gallon jugs. So we're just gonna, the first one's real easy. Just add all of it. All right, there's the first gallon. Now the second gallon, we are gonna be a little bit more cautious. You don't wanna overfill a four-stroke engine or underfill it. So you just gotta get it just right. So for this next gallon, we'll, we'll put a little bit in and then, and then start really you know, checking the, uh, the dipstick as we go. really hard to see but it's actually about halfway up okay so I'm gonna try to get it to about right here um, that's where I like to have it I don't want to or right here rather so like the the fourth uh, yellow bar ball up on this um, I don't want to get it too close to the top but um, right there kind of three quarters full on the dipstick is where I like to have it and then I'll check it after I run it a little bit All right, so let's check the dipstick again. I think, I think we're gonna be right there. In fact, yeah, I think we're, we're right where I want it. Let's put it in there again and retest it. All right, so that's about where we want it. About three quarters full. And then what I'm gonna do from there is, uh, we're pretty much done with the oil change. Now all I need to do is I'm gonna go run it on the lake and uh, after running it a little bit we're going to recheck the oil and add a little bit more if we need to but that's pretty much it
All right, guys, so we're pretty much done with the oil change. All, all I need to do now is put the cowling back on, and we're actually going to go to the lake, uh, run it for a little bit, and then recheck the oil level. I have a feeling that I'll need to add just a little bit more, but I want to make sure that the, the oil level is correct after running it a little bit. Likely, I'll have to add another half half liter or so, um, but for now, uh, we're, we're pretty much done. Very, very easy process. Mercury makes it really, really easy to work on these engines. So let's head to the lake, check everything, but I think we're done. All right guys, so the last step was to take the engine out on the, on the lake, run it around a little bit. I took it down here to Gunnersville because all my lakes are off limits right now. And so ran around on Gunnersville a little bit, uh, you know, got it nice and warmed up, brought it back, let it sit for about an hour. And then after that hour, uh, I, I, I checked the dipstick one more time and ended up seeing that it was, it was a little bit low. It was, it was probably, um, you know, at the halfway mark. Uh, I, I expected to have to add a little bit more oil, but it's better to, to uh, you know, add a little bit more uh, and be a little bit low uh, than be over uh, the, the correct amount of oil and to have to drain some more oil out. So anyways, Got it to that three quarter full uh, spot on the dipstick. Very, very happy with that. That's the range I like to run these engines in. And uh, just for, for future reference, there is a liter of oil left in the second oil can. So that's that should be uh, about how much you need to, to replace. But anyway, so now we are completely done. We are good to go. It's a really, really simple process. And uh, I know that you can do it with the right tools, the right materials. Mercury makes it very, very easy. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and also check out the, the gear case uh, fluid change uh, video that I did at the same time as the oil change. So you should be able to see that somewhere here on the screen and uh, click on that. So thank you guys for watching. See you out on the water.